Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a college advice video, but um, due to the current circumstances, this is gonna be um, a little different because it's particularly for students who are doing their online classes. Um, I know a lot of people who are doing most, if not all, online classes next semester, and that's gonna be a little tough. I'm gonna be honest with you. I definitely struggled in the first half of um, doing online classes after we got kicked out um, in March <laughs> and um, I was complaining the whole time but then you know as you kind of like go through it and um, experience <laughs> online classes you gain a set of um, habits that'll help you to kind of cope with that and um, also I did an internship in the summer and it was all online and it was a full-time internship all online and trust me I've been through enough <laughs> to give a little bit of insight into how to survive sitting at your desk um, or being on your computer for a very very long time if you weren't used to it before because for me I wasn't and it definitely um, it definitely took some time for me to get to where I need to be now um and I kind of want to help people to kind of get to it now so they don't have to go through what I went through um in the beginning so I have 10 tips um to be successful as a university um just to give us some background I am a rising junior at NYU I study business and political economy and um yeah so I was doing business classes online and I'm not gonna lie to you they're not worth the money but um luckily it's not my money so <laughs> blessed be the fruit um so starting off with the first one I have have a schedule and plan with it and I'm a planner and I still struggled with that in the beginning um I keep an agenda um whether physical dig or digital or even through like google calendar and i was i was trying to be as organized as possible and i realized that even if i had a schedule i wasn't going with it and um i wasn't even trying to kind of incorporate certain objectives i had into the calendar and i think that's like one of the biggest mistakes if you already know your schedule which you probably should by now hopefully and you know whether you're having that class in person or online all that extra space even on the weekends as well try your best your best to like set out time to do studying set out time to do maybe a remote internship working out um hanging out with friends because you still or like virtually hanging out with friends you still need that human interaction even if it's through zoom um reading the news doing certain things that will keep you in that feeling of being of it being normal even though it's really not and um I think it's really important to have a schedule and plan with it and if it were for me I would plan my schedule by the hour and that's what I'm doing this semester um because I want to do an, an internship a virtual internship and um I I've never done an internship throughout the school year before I've only done like I've only worked like I started working when I was 16 and I've only worked while going to school and that only happened on days that I wasn't um I didn't have school so I've never had to deal with having school work and having like real work to do and luckily I set like boundaries already um with the fact that I can't do more than this many hours because um I can be a hard worker yeah of course but I don't want to burn out so um I already know like I want to chunk out this many hours a, a day for this or this many hours on this day or on that day and it works for me and um do whatever works for you just make sure you plan just make sure you have that schedule and look at it every day I know it's daunting to see like a list of things to do and then like feeling that sense of anxiety to get it started but sometimes you need that push to get that work done um so that's my first recommendation my second recommendation um is to take care of yourself this should have been number one um I think I got into a really uh dark place doing oh this sounds so like morbid I don't mean it to sound like that but like I think 
hearing about what was going on in the world on top of like having to do like final projects and all of that I just felt a sense of um discouragement and um it took away my motivation in a bit so and I that made me stop taking care of myself like I stopped doing my skincare I stopped working out um I started to just like snack instead of eat real meals and that is when like at that point I sat myself down and I was like this is this is not where we need to be at the moment like we we actually shouldn't do this because you need that energy you need to have your your uh, vitamins you need to do something because it's going to drain you being in front of a computer for so long trust me it drained me um last summer well the summer that just happened and um I think in the beginning I was like okay let me like put snacks next to me and then I stopped doing that and I stopped taking care of myself and it definitely affected my input and um I think that from now on I'm definitely gonna have like water definitely gonna have um my vitamins every day definitely gonna eat my meals whether or not you're in a class you're over zoom they cannot stop you from eating in class like it doesn't matter it's not a distraction don't listen to that um take care of yourself make sure you wake up um you you know you um what's it called take a shower make sure your hygiene is good brush your teeth before you start doing your school like make it seem as if you were going to school regularly in person um just take care of yourself and so for the third one i'd say stay busy so this <laughs> this kind of goes with the first one i'm talking i'm telling you guys like not to put too much on your plate but also if you don't have if you feel like you don't have much on your plate I know a lot of um first year classes are like the general classes that you need to take like your writing course your math course and some people already like past that they're way more advanced than that and they don't feel like they necessarily need those classes but they still have to take them if you feel like those classes you're kind of like flying through them online and you feel like you have time I'd recommend getting an internship maybe maybe like a 10 hour a week internship and you can chunk out two hours a weekday or joining clubs um most of these clubs don't expect you to do much they just expect you to, to attend and try to participate as much as you can an organ another organization maybe not even like in in the school maybe outside of the school volunteering a lot of um a lot of organizations are coming up now because of what's going on, um, what happened this year and what's going on. And if you want to contribute to kind of those causes, you can. And I think they'd love it. Even if they don't say that they need an intern, I suggest like emailing and just saying like introducing yourself, asking them if they need any help with the skills that you have. Like if you're, if you are into digital design, they could use you for marketing. They could use you for emails. If you are into communications, you can do that. That, um if they need help with like excel spreadsheets like just just trying to find where your talents would fit into an internship and getting one and I said like I highly recommend it I wish my freshman year I actually did some of that um I think I was scared of being too overwhelmed and I think that that me not doing an internship or doing some form of organization or getting involved with a club like um like a lot more definitely gave me too much time on my hands to get to do things that I probably shouldn't have been doing you know like I definitely should have just tried my best to focus more on my career and my progression and like where my interests lie and I guess now I have to like backtrack and get my stuff done um but it's fine if you don't feel comfortable enough to do an internship I'm gonna tell you that it's fine I didn't do one I think I'm fine I think I'm gonna turn out okay um but if you can and you feel like you kind of know where you want to be then I'd suggest like reaching out to organizations. Some of them post on LinkedIn, on um, Handshake, on um, Way Up, like a whole bunch of these websites, and just seeing like where you could find a fit. For number four, um, 
oh I kind of already talked about this but getting ready for your day <laughs> shout getting showered and getting dressed I suggest highly recommend getting dressed if you don't get dressed you're you're not gonna pay attention like put on some jeans put don't put on sweatpants put on jeans put on like some structured clothes that are going to make you like make sure that you're not too comfortable like I said of course you want to be comfortable because you're inside of a dorm but you don't want to be too comfortable to the point where you will gravitate slowly but surely to your bed and then once you're on your bed you're you're falling asleep in class like too many times have people fallen asleep in an online class and it's because they wake up they don't change out of their pajamas they stay in their bed and they just are too comfortable to the point where they just want to fall asleep that has never happened to me because I know myself a little better so when I wake up even if I was on my bed um um before I got this table back home I ha I made sure to like make a pillow fort behind me so that or like a, a structure behind me so that I was sitting as if I was sitting in a chair and I never moved it or like reorganized it I never lay like tried to lay down did none of that because if you do that then you are going to fall asleep trust me um number five this goes with number four which is like creating a comfortable space away from your bed so I just suggest even if you don't have a table at home buying a little table Walmart has some Target has some Amazon probably has some um or if you if you're handy mandy and you can do some woodwork just make one um I bought this one from Walmart but looking at it I was like this I could actually I could have just made this if I had a drill and some um some <laughs> sheets of wood like it's 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 not hard but I was just not ready for that so I would suggest getting a table or something of the like they even sell like the little ones that are for like um like picnics or house like backyard parties or whatever even those kind of work but having a comfortable space away from your bed helps creating that space so I, maybe um putting like a photo of your family as motivation or your dog um making sure you have you stay hydrated you have water you have tea Gatorade Powerade um you can have snacks like certain nuts certain um dried fruit real fruit apples all of that um can help you to create just a warm space and also because if if you're not in the dorm this is for you but because you're not in a dorm you can light stuff up so you could possibly light some incense some candles um I kind of wish I could do that but I'm going back to the dorm so I can't so I'm just gonna have to buy a diffuser um so I suggest anybody who does it who is in a dorm to buy one of those create like having lavender scents calming creating a comfortable space but making sure that you're not in your bed number six um on top of being more comfortable take breaks get up um do a stretch do some yoga in between trust me your back is gonna thank you later I did not do that as much as I should have and now I have to go through like the process of making myself more flexible again and it's like it's like so much tight tension in my back that I just it's it's really really bad oh also I think I'm going through it with my back but I'm not going through it as much as I probably would have been if I didn't buy comfortable um something to make me more comfortable in my chair which was like foam um a foam like set that is for your back and um on your butt so like I'll link that in the in the um description below but I really would suggest that if you have a chair that's not as comfortable and most of these chairs are not comfortable to be honest with you they're not comfortable enough to be sitting um on them for a very long time so I would suggest getting like a foam um set to make sure that you can sit comfortably but back on the breaks um make sure you take breaks but don't take too long of a break to the point where you're like out of it and you hop back into this like like comfy mode just making sure that you're taking a break to remind yourself that like you you're still in a space in a different space but then hopping back into like work mode um for number seven having buddies and friends um that and holding each other accountable this 
highly recommend do it um make sure you put you guys put each other onto certain things um make sure you guys are keeping each other accountable this is why you go into and even if your friends don't go to the same school as you i know for freshmen it's going to be really hard to make friends um and i feel so bad for y'all because a lot of the friends that i made were people who were literally in my cohort or I met them in line going to an event at NYU like that's and that is not a feeling that you're gonna get your freshman year virtually um so I suggest um reaching out to your friends that you already have or maybe and I know this sounds random and people might not want to do this because they're not as bold they're not bold enough to do it and I completely understand because I was not bold enough to do it but um you can post in like the Facebook, uh, the school Facebook or the freshman Facebook, whatever, because I know everybody has one basically. And just like say that you are looking for buddies and like friends and, um, you know, just say who you are and people will reach out. Trust me, people will reach out or searching for people on Twitter, or on Instagram, reaching out to them through DM. It's not creepy. It's how you make friends. Um, I've made a lot of friends over uh through nyu twitter shout out to them because i literally just was like tweeting and then my friends are also friends with them or also like friends with them on twitter and then they saw my tweet they liked my tweet they followed me i followed them back and now there's like this mutual thing where when i tweet they reply and i reply as well so it's kind of like you can make virtual friends it's hard um when you meet in person it's gonna be worth every like digital encounter possible but um try doing that now and making friends having buddies that are gonna hold you accountable for your online classes trust me it's gonna help you in the long run um and even then you could transfer those digital buddies into real like like physical real life buddies that are gonna help you with your class like if you're in the same major you're gonna have, most likely see each other in other classes together so you can help each other with like projects help each other with tests like if you need to study it's it's just it's just gonna work out um number eight i hate saying this because i don't like to do this all the time because sometimes i'd be out of it but participate in the zoom classes some of these teachers are actually taking participation points i'm and i'm really confused because i thought we were doing online classes like how is that possible but you know hit that uh raise hand button and uh say something or unmute and say something it's it's for the grade um and sometimes some of these classes are actually interesting enough for you to say something i think speaking in online classes has made me a lot more confident to the point where i feel like i could speak more in real classes because in online classes it is don't it's it's like scary i'm not gonna lie to you because there's so many people on the line and you don't know how they're reacting if their cameras are not on so they could literally be laughing at you or you know um their face could say something but you don't know so it's kind of like that silence is scary but um take that leap of faith teachers love this because they're not used to speaking to nothing so if you keep on interacting they're gonna remember your name when when they have to do this this last list at the end of the semester where they put in this grade when your name pops up on this list and they see that you have this b plus trust me that a plus is coming that a plus that a that a minus they might they might just change a whole gpa life the level you will level up trust me they will remember they'll be like you know what this student actually participated they deserve those extra points to bring their grade level up they don't deserve to fail give them the b you know trust me this a lot of teachers um this has actually saved me like if you genuinely like your teacher and you genuinely like the class and you participate even if you're doing mediocre in the class or average um your grade is not gonna be a bad grade trust me like it's it's work it works it works um number nine set a major goal and for me that major goal is to get hopefully a 3.7 or higher gpa <laughs> um i'm taking a course next semester that is supposedly really hard or not even really hard but i feel like i'm a little i'm a little scared about it i'm just i'm just 
treading lightly about it so um setting a major goal that could be like getting a 3.5 or higher it could be getting a 3.0 or higher it's fine um as for me i'm trying to bring my gpa up so i'm trying to get like higher gpas to um fill up like the the grade pool and to make sure that my g my um overall gpa goes up so i really need to get like 3.7 or higher so i'm gonna try my best to do that but you know also you could just say that your major goal is to get all a's or b pluses or higher it doesn't have to be a gpa goal or it could be to join three organizations it could be to make um five solid friends that you can hit up every day um just things like that or just making sure that you wake up at 7 a.m every morning or 8 a.m you're on time to every class um you know s stuff like that will definitely help you having a major goal um kind of just creates an umbrella for the many steps and the many goals on your way to that major goal so everything just falls into place for you and lastly number 10 is to use school resources i did not do enough of this freshman year and i regret it so much your school is definitely going to have resources for you they're going to have tutors they're going to have homework help everything they'll have um study packets for you or whatever they they'll find a way if you just reach out and tell them hey i'm struggling with this class how can i get my like grade up how do i do this or do that like how do you um how does two plus two equal four like they will help you understand that so trust me reach out um to whatever resource center or resource organizations that they have and use them um i regret not doing that my freshman year um definitely would have brought my gpa up higher but um i think you know some of us some of us go through things so that other people don't have to and i think that that's one of the major keys like this is going to help you get that um dean's list get that 4.0 that you want make sure you use your school resources and if you pay tuition um you should definitely be using all of those resources even if you feel like you don't need them you pay tuition for this like you're paying for it so might as well use it right um but yeah those are my four those are my 10 tips i hope they're helpful i hope they're useful and i hope everyone po prospers in the next year um in online classes um if you have any questions please feel free to reach out or comment below but i'll see you on the next video bye <laughs>